Greetings and welcome back to Clan Folk. I'm Catherine of Sky, and today we have a Lenora joining us off on the right hand side there. Um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of uh, excited to have her there. I uh, they don't always sit on the window, um, but when they do, I I will try to include them here. We are getting a few of these rooms starting to get going here, and um, but uh, we don't have anything just yet. Um, or not, not much, not, not a good enough room to move in our brand new couples. We do have three travelers today, which is quite exciting. I'm kind of, um, hoping that we'll get, uh, some more furniture stuff going on. What do we have in the ideas panel here? Let's see, we are actually running out of text. Um, so hopefully we're going to get there soon. Um, let's see, we have milk. Some of these revolve around animals we don't yet have. Um, we do need to get this, uh, spinning wheel going on, but we need flax fibers for that. And that, of course, is made on the flax dressing station, which, honestly, we just don't have enough workers to make those things happen yet. But our places are toasty, which is very nice. We have this very cold... Wow, minus 13.5 Celsius. That is freaking cold. That's colder than the other one, I think, right? Anyway, um, yeah, we have we have enlarged this mountain to be a storeroom for all of our uh, cold stuff. And what do we have in here? It's, oh, it's minus 12 and a half. I thought it only went down to minus 6. Um, but I don't know. It, it, it is more than that right now. Anyway, uh, let's unpack this butcher block. It's been a while since it's been unpacked, and I want to kind of place it somewhere. Kind of important to get that done. Uh, since we have a brand new morning... Uh, let me hunt some wild animals, uh, if we can find any that are close by. If they're too far, I don't want them really trekking out in the snow to go get them. So it does appear that they are quite far away, so I'll just leave them for now. Uh, Alright, so we have the fields going. We probably would like to get some of this. They are actually starting to dig up some of the uh, field tiles here, so that's great. It's very good. Very excited about this. Cat seems extremely happy to be sleeping in that little corner. She's very fuzzy. I love my my little cat. She's like a mohair bear cat. She feels very fluffy and fuzzy. Kind of a very, very pleasant pat. Uh, her hair is a little bit wiry like a mohair bear instead of having, um, like, Araminta's like silk. She's a bit different. Oh, she's the fluffy one. All right, people are making things and stuff. Very important to keep those things and stuff made, especially the... Oh my god, we have 145 raw eels? That seems like a lot. Um, You know what? I'm going to turn off one of the eel traps. Just going to turn one of them off. Because we really don't need that much. So let's just... Well, maybe turn off two of them. Let's turn off two. Don't need to overfish that lake. But it appears that we don't have enough cooked eels, so I'm going to go ahead and put this cooked eel thing. It is at a thousand, so I don't know why they're not cooking. Probably because there's no knock there. But on the other hand, I don't know what they're doing instead of cooking. Because, like, nobody's got the cooking thing going on. Who, who needs to cook? Kristen. Okay, so Kristen is doing random repair ta tasks. Okay, now is cooking, finally. Or not. See, where is she going? Oh, this needs to be hauled. Let me just grab these guys from outside. Oh, whoops. Okay. Let's haul those to where they need to go. Also, do we have water? We really need to make... Oh, no, we have 947 water. Uh, I wonder where all that water is. Oh, it's in this room. I see. Okay, cool. That's great. I don't know why it's not on this jug pallet, though. It's like, this should be, you know, hauled. Go. Haul the stuff, people. Let's go. I don't like when stuff is on the floor, but it's been really hard to get them to take it where we want it to go. It seems like even though we have a hauler at the top level, well, Huchun is almost top level. There's, like, literally nothing to do in the winter. So Huchun should be doing stuff, I think. Looks like we need to have a road here as well. Let me just do that. I think let's build a... 
a brick floor there and then also an overhang over this area because I think we forgot that part the roof because obviously it is not covered otherwise they wouldn't be trudging through this snow and taking such a long time in getting there it's a shame they just don't go through the house all right Kristen is cooking some stuff I'm leaving stuff on the floor thank you Okay, Huchon is moving stuff. Ah, nice. B pr brought those eels back where they could be in the cold. Hooray. Very good. Taking the meat inside. Good man. Good man. I think it's a man. Is it a man? I think Huchon is a man. Uh, maybe. I'm like, is he? Or is she? I'm not sure, actually. I have to check. Yes. Yes. Huchon is a man. And, uh, yeah, I was, I was like, cause at first, uh, at some point I thought I saw him with long hair and I'm like, wait a second, hold on. Okay. We finally got some flour made. Jeez Louise. Okay. So now this one now has the recipe for dough. So let's just go ahead and make as many as we can on that one. And then I guess we'll get the recipe for bread after we make some dough. Oh, you can't do this in a cold room. What? Huh? I guess it's just too... Oh, I get... Yeah, the dough needs to rise. Of course it does. Jeez. Actually, let's put that in a box. And then I'm going to put a fireplace in here. Basic needs. A fireplace. Come on. I want to put it in the corner. Let's go. Actually, I could put it in this corner. Uh, or not. I might want to put a storage thing there. Come on. Come on, guys. Please put this thing in a box. Let's go. All right. Well, let's look at that storage thing. Flower palette. Let's put that behind here. Um, so that's ready for the other thingy. Unlocked add fertilizer. I believe oh, we got a bros. Oatmeal in hot water. Okay. Now we see what we're going to use a bowl for and potentially a dishwasher for. Because I think we had a dishwasher and we were like, what the heck is this for? But now we have a brand new crafting thingy. Maybe. Or not. Uh, help. Here it is, bros. Okay. So we need oat flour uh, plus a bunch of other stuff. Charcoal is needed for this. I don't know if that's worth it because that's expensive, man. Meow, meow, meow. Um, but it does give us a different... I don't know if there are, is such a thing as like a variety of foods giving a buff state or not. Why are they not packing this up? Very confused about this. Folks, come on. Let's go. Hello. Proceed. Hello. Okay, it's nighttime now. Uh, all right. So this bros. Okay, so... With this bros comes a lot of pain and suffering, I think. Uh, because there's a dishwasher as well, and that's where you have to clean the bowls, no doubt. Um, so that might not be worth it. might be just worth it to eat eels with our hands, you know, at this point. I know that later we had this great stream with the developer. Check it out on my channel. Uh, the VOD is available. But he was just talking nonstop about the game development and what his plans are for things and you know what's going to come in at what time and all that kind of stuff it was really really very rewarding and kind of cool so um i feel like uh wait brain oh no oh no i departed the rails oh dear this is bad <laughs> no um anyway brain departed the rails just now um and he was talking about stuff, yes, and then what? What else? KOS, come on, come on back. Can we entice you back to the rails again? <laughs> um, anyway, and, and just talked about different things and how he might move things around and uh, in the tech tree and all those different kinds of stuff. Oh, food buffs. Yes, there are going to be buffs from more complicated food processes, um, which will give your people a bonus. But the, the whole point is that it's kind of an end game thing. 
uh, where you have to have multiple you know, steps in the creation of some kind of special food, but that that's going to confer a major bonus on your people. And I really like that idea. I think that's pretty darn cool. So, all right, we need to build this fireplace. Also, we need to hull these eels. There we go. Um, as well as I, I talked more on my idea to have a custom hauling priority, as in like, if cooked eels, give plus, plus, plus priority to the hauler. Um, because I feel like hauling food is really important and, and as well as the idea of maybe if a cook is cooking something if the freezer is close or the stockpile is quite close then why don't you just dump it there you know why you know you don't need to leave it for a hauler it it has the same effect as say for example i cook a dinner and we have leftovers but i just leave the pot on the stove and then wait for my mom to put it away or the cats to put it away you know what I mean? So um, I think that logic kind of uh, appeals um, to the developer as well. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what we get. We'll see what happens. Um, but it's kind of cool to have all this stuff going on. All right. So problem with the mushrooms. Obviously, these mushroom racks are in an extremely cold room. And we know that they're not supposed to work in here. It is very convenient to eject themselves onto the rack. But I feel like we definitely need to box it. So we're going to box these guys. Oh, no, no, no. Box, box. And it's knocked. Oh, it's knocked already. Cool. So we have four of these. I'm going to go ahead and put these over on this wall. One, two, three, four. They fit very nicely. Uh, and are just beyond the flammable blocker for this lovely uh, uh, fireplace. So that, that seems to be a good good decision here. It's going to work really well. Uh, let's check back up here and see what's going on. Seems everything's A-OK. -okay. We desperately need more workers. So I hope that the people are going to start getting a bit frisky and have a nice mood. I need to, I guess I turn them off again and try to get them in the mood and undress them at night and all the things <laughs> it's quite, <laughs> quite quite the project to get them to have a little one on the way but yeah let's see reset object priorities and oh that's cool i've never noticed those buttons there which you can't see because they're under the cat I'm not gonna ask the cat to move but there are buttons right above this section here which are reset stockpile priorities and reset object priorities we have worked hard on that so we're not gonna do that but yeah, this is, uh, things are going pretty well. I wonder if I should make a wall here as well so that this bed doesn't get quite that amount of light. Okay, Lachlan is tired. Poor thing, wore himself out. Isabel's socializing. That is good. And we have a person actually working on clay. Well then, that's pretty, pretty brave. Okay, that's Lisa doing the clay. All right. Yeah, I have to have a knock on the uh, timbery here because if we run out of branch branches, we are in a mess of trouble. So got to have that working. Really nice to have the stockpiles around here. I don't know if I explained in a previous video, but... If you have stockpiles within two squares, as in you could have a walkway here and have a stockpile over here and it still would would, would do what I'm going to tell you it does. Uh, basically, it auto stacks. So not only they don't have to run and get a log, they just come to the timbery. The log automatically gets taken out. And then once you have the results, as in planks or branches, they automatically go into these stockpiles. No hauler is needed. So that's a really important part of what you need to, um, wait, what is this from? A really important part of uh, organizing stuff and how you should organize your places to kind of minimize the amount of time spent hauling or man hours or whatever you want to call it. I think we definitely need a wood ash storage spot. Let's see if we can find that. Ash bin. There we go. Okay. So that goes, I'll put this here because it's a charcoal kiln thing. So we're going to put this on priority nine. This thing is knocked. So that is above priority nine.
And it looks like we also have some bark here. Where does the bark come from? Is that from planks? Ah, yeah, planks. All right, so we need a bark bin. Do we have brand? Oh, here's the bark bin. It's just full, that's all. All right, so let's put in another bark bin. I don't really know what to do with the bark. Is it is it part of this? Bark wash? Yeah, bark wash, okay. We could put another bark bin by the bark wash. Uh, all right, let's do that instead. Well, we can put in two, why not? Uh, is that f close enough? I think it might be close enough. I'll put it over there though. But yeah, we need some canals and let me just get that going. We do, do we have, uh... I'm saying we do, but we might not actually. Let's see, do we have canal, uh, can uh, caningots, <laughs> caningots. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't really work well, does it? No, no, let's, let's not, let's not even go there, right? Mm. We need caningots and, because we need canals and all of these guys also did not get prioritized. So let's knock those, take some seconds to put them in. And that also means that we can start drying our mushrooms and keeping them for the long term. Though frozen mushrooms also work, so we don't actually need to dry them, I think. But I'm going to do it anyway. All right, let's see. We're going to wait, of course, till spring until we can get our flax sheaths because there's nothing to harvest. This stubble on the ground really doesn't give you anything, so it's not even worth harvesting. Okay, it does look like we got this roof piece completed, which is super nice. Um, can I see if we can get a little bit more roof there. Yeah, it looks like it will will go. Could even put a column here if we want to, but I think it's okay just to have that overhang. But I would like to get uh, some, some of these bricks in here. That would be nice and helpful. Uh, maybe an umbrella over here as well. Let's see. Okay, so that goes all the way there. If we do... Let's see, hay roof, sure. Well, let's do this hay roof all the way across this pathway. So we'll find the center of this and that's where we need to put in our walls, wherever we have the red pieces. So let's make, say a rock wall. Here should do, I hope. Yep, there it goes. One rock wall and it's all cleared up. Very nice. So let's knock that and then have them build the roofs in their leisure time. Okay, we got some cold people here. They are warming up by the fire, but it is very nice and toasty in these rooms. Every room that has people actually is toasty, so that's nice. We have gotten quite a lot more flooring placed down, so that's definitely a re relief. But I'm not sure what's going on with the brick here or why those things are not getting made. We have 125 clay bricks, but yet no actual building. We can look and see, do we have the clay? We do have 800 clay, so that's excellent. We just need builders, apparently. Ah, we have traders. Let's see what the traders will do for us. Maybe we can sell a few, you know, tiles or something. Okay, that seems good. And how about you? Nope. No branches for sale either. I probably would have bought some. Okay, they are making this column, which is great. But yeah, having little umbrellas uh, over the place is kind of a nice way to, you know, make their travel a lot quicker and easier. Now, if there are other places we need them to go, we might make some travel as well down there. So let's do some uh, mining orders. Definitely want to get this iron ore mined out. Keep them busy. Keep them very busy indeed. All right, and then we'll also do... If they get done with that mountain, let's just do a cross section into this mountain here. It's like a double cross section. Sorry about that. A bit confusing. Okay, Huchon is now making nails and we're also making ingots. Very exciting. Oh, we are now making all the things. This is fantastic. Okay, this serving table is probably getting done. Um, also, we really need to get this fireplace because this is a very cold room. This is, we have uh, minus four and a half degrees. That's way too cold. 
Oh no, she was making the pantry shelves. That's even better. Really happy about that. 50 nails are required. Do we have a... Let's see. Oh no, we don't. Oh yeah, we do. It's 50. Uh, let's make 60 just to be on the safe side here. We actually have 100 nails made, which is very nice. Alright, did they make this bark bin? No, they did not. Let's hurry and make the bark bin. Requires planks and nails. Do we have planks? Yeah, a few. Very, very good. Lisa's building. Okay, so she's doing all these shelf construction and stuff like that. I keep thinking of building as um, mostly the outside or wall building, but no, definitely it's making the uh, furniture as well. Let's see, this thing. I thought this was a storage. Oh no. All right, so stone blocks. Where do they go? Is there stone block storage? It's a stone's pile. I don't think that will take them. Plank stack. Mm hmm. Nope, that doesn't take them. So I guess what we do is we just do a um, supply shelf. Yeah. Put a supply shelf here for those things and if that doesn't work then we might need to I hope it works I'm not actually sure yeah I don't think it would fit anywhere else oh or maybe a masonry place is it masonry Yes, it's masonry. Okay, so never mind about this. Skip this thing. Let's get a masonry place here. And on these guys, I want to disallow these stones because we don't want people dropping them off all the way over here. So we'll go ahead and make this on Znock. It only needs logs. It's quite quick. Should we just zap zap and we're good? Wait, Kenneth. Oh, right. Okay, so this is unintended, by the way, uh, where people leave and they are hungry as they're leaving. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, Kenneth, we were going to offer you a sleep for the night, but I didn't see you soon enough. We apologize for the inconvenience. All right. Uh, we are getting stuff going here. We really need to get this thing done. Well, it is on Znock, so people should be building it very shortly, and it shouldn't be competing for materials with anything else, um, so, because nothing else is on Znock uh, that is requiring uh, metal bits and things like that. All right, peeps, let's go. Come on, move it on out. Uh, somebody asked me during the stream, can you play at other speeds? Of course you can. Uh, this is speed one. We have 2x and then 4x. And uh, I feel like 4x should be the minimum speed. <laughs> I feel it's already so slow. But but that's okay. You know, people like to play at different paces. So, yeah, it's fine. It's just fine. All right, everybody warming up. That's nice. Oh, I forgot to do the taking off of clothes. Shoot. All right, well, Isabel and Lachlan are going to get another day off. And hopefully we can remember about uh, undressing them and being voyeur later. There's a lot of dirt tracked over here. It's a bit annoying. How happy is this room? It is unhappy. It has a positive score, but I think... We really should replace the rest of this gravel floor with other stuff. What is this room looking like? This one is 265. I wonder if the, the ash from these fireplaces contributes to the dirt or if that's just dirt from outside. It's really hard for me to tell. Uh huh. 
All right, let's just clean this stuff up. I think it's it's always in front of the fireplace, so I bet that's what it is. Uh, okay, so I think what we'll do is we will add some floors in here that are better. Let's just fill half a room with floors. This room already has a lot of nice floors, and it's great because we do have a few beds still in here. So, yeah. Trader is here. Oh, they have iron ore. Let's buy some of that. And then we have smoked meat. We have 25 days of food. They're going to buy five smoked meat for 40? Yeah, let's sell it. Go. Leather I'm less uh, eager to sell. Wow, and they're going to pay us 10 for 25 branches. That seems like a lot. Like, the other people are selling branches for three? Yeah, that's crazy amounts. Jeez. All right, let's see where the animals are today. There's one there. That's actually close enough to go and hunt. So we'll hunt this one and hunt that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hunters, we're calling on you today. Also, I think we have mushrooms going on over here, which need to be canceled. Those are going to be auto-canceled, I believe, um, within one of the next patches. Or, well, soon, I guess, ish. Um, but for now, we can just cancel them completely. Now, I would... Um, do we need more logs? Let's find out. We have 203 logs, so not right now. No need to have them trudge through the snow and get caught in a very cold situation. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to leave that there. All right, send you off. We need to get somebody who buys eels, because I could sell them a, a boatload of eels. We have 25 days worth of food. We really should start selling some good stuff. I guess one of the things we could do is prepare a dish rack in here. Even if we don't fill it right away. Put that like here. Here. And then make some dishes. I don't I guess it will hold six bowls or something. So let's see where we make those. Are they they are wooden? Cool. Inventory two. Okay. Let's make three, four, five, six. So four more. All right. All this chopping going on is good stuff. So who is building? Nobody yet. Lisa is supposed to be building, but she is out in the middle of the world doing who knows what. Mining, I guess. Okay, what about... Why don't we put building higher for her? Because I feel like we need more builders. Oh, she hates building. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Lachlan is our builder. Okay. Uh, I guess she can go out and mine. Why not? Well, I, why not is it's way far, but... Oh, well. Lachlan. Hauling. Why are you hauling? Aren't you supposed to be building? No. Wait, wrong person. I was thinking about Hutchin. Oh, no wonder he's not building. He has free time. That's right. Okay. Okay, dudes. We're going to try a day of mm, bedroom activities. Hopefully, you can make miniature people. Duplicate yourselves. Start a copy-paste process. Let's go. <laughs> Oh dear. But yeah, he's our we have two people having time off, so that's the main problem we've been facing with the lack of working here, I think, is just having giving those people the day off for a couple of maybe two, three days now, so it's a bit rough. Wow, why is this in here? Haul this out of here, man. That's not okay. Grab it. Take it out. Let's 
Let's see, do we have enough uh, water? 290 water. That's good. I would love to get some cooked meat going on. Uh, or was it smoked? Smoked meat is better. But I guess we don't have any... Well, we should have all the things. We even have the branches in here. Wow. People are just not making stuff. Kristen, what are you doing? Oh, you're eating. I see. Okay. Okay, we have Nans who wants a bed, so let's give her a bed for the night. Maybe that's Nance, as in Nancy. Could be. Oh, that's right. Because she is a visitor, she can't go through here, so it has to go outside to get to the bathroom. Yeah, that's. I see how that can be a bit inconvenient. Um, we might just put a bathroom right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, walls. Let's just do a, do a brick wall, have a nice brick bathroom in here. Just make it very small. Uh, well, wait a second. What if we could give her a bath as well? That would be really nice. Um, if we do... I'm kind of messing up my little courtyard, aren't I, here? But it's okay. All right, let's see. If we do something like this, that would be better. And we'll have a... Oh, somebody's playing so beautifully right now. Some serious side effects, or sound effects going on there. That's quite nice. Put a poop hole over there. Okay. And a door. Right there. Perfect. And then we'll put in some very nice tiles on the floor as well. Fancy tile floor. Let's go. Oh, that was Nance playing. Cool. So apparently, um, we are going to get, so according to the dev, we're going to get instrument playing by skill. As in, if a child picks up a flute, it's going to be much lower skill level and have a simpler song than if an adult picks up that flute and plays, you know, especially seniors who have a, you know, a lifetime of experience, they're going to be able to play very beautifully. I expect kind of like Nance just played for us. Um, I don't think that's implemented just yet, but man, that was a really pretty song that we just heard. Okay. Archibald is trading with us now. Uh, I guess we're okay. Mm, we have many stones. We could sell some of those. Okay. Seems good. Nance is leaving. Paid 17. Clap. Clan reputation minus 7. Really? Was it that bad of a stay? I, I feel like I have such a nice room for them. Um, I have I have such a nice room for them. What is going on with these people? Why are they so meowy? They don't like my place. I have, I have entertainment. I have food. I have nice uh, bathrooms on the other side of the complex. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear huh let's see let's get rid of this one. Oh, that's fun these are just jumping out of the thing okay all right oh wait is the cat still there no, the cat isn't. Oh, she is. She's in the other corner now. I'll go ahead and turn off the cat cam uh, so you can see more of the screen. Probably doesn't matter that much because I know there are some towel cam fans out there. That is definitely a thing. Towel cam is a thing. All right, let's put this on the uh, stockpile here. 
Let's just put this as rocks. Have them add that there. Okay, so how are we going with this stuff? This still hasn't been made. What is going on here? I'm going to turn this off to turn off the nails and try to get some uh, ingots going on here. I think that might help us. Okay, trader, let's send you away. Water jugs are needed. By the fireplace? Oh no, maybe we just need to warm some up by the fireplace. Uh, I could, I think it is a good idea to warm up some water jugs though. Let me just take off these cooked eels. Uh, we'll warm up 300 water. Might get us there actually. I forget how much water they use a day. I'm not quite sure. I'm really excited about uh, my trip to Europe later this year. It's been ages since I've seen my friends there. And, um, you know, I normally I don't take any days off. Like, I don't do weekends, I don't do holidays, nothing like that. So I feel like I'm kind of have a vacation coming. I did have a short trip to Bermuda earlier this year to visit a friend, and that was really fun. But I do miss my friends in Europe, and uh, yeah, it's I, it is needed. For sure. Oh, Kristen has gone hairless again. <laughs> That's such a funny little bug. <laughs> I guess it will get fixed um, when the priority is there. It's definitely not important right now. Okay, we're finally getting heat in this room. My goodness. Okay, let's heat this room up. There we go. Finally, we can get some food made. I'm going to go ahead and set the dough to be on priority. See if she can do some of this. And then for later, we're going to have the bread oven be on priority as well. But we do have a hundred of the flour, which is 50 oat flour and 25 water jug uh, to make. I guess I should, maybe I should cook one water jug here as well. Just to have enough stuff. Yeah, it was really cool. Uh, the developer also explained how the AI works and the layers of things and stuff like that. It's pretty darn cool. Oh, we unlocked bread. Wow. Let's go. Oh, wait, we should have to... We oh, I forgot about to click this thing uh, in order to get to the bread making thing because I always want to have some as soon as possible. All right. Millions of bread. Let's go. Oh, Christopher is doing stuff. I'll wait till he's finished and then unlock this. Oh, nice. Here we go. We have six dough. And then the bread is six dough plus six branches is six bread. That's cool. Works for me. Too bad we couldn't save on the wholesale quantity of branches, as in, like, you know, three branches for six dough or six breads. Something like that. Lisa, why are you unhappy, girl? Wait, did I forget the nighttime thing again? I did, didn't I? Oh. Okay, I'm going to stand here and stare at them in their bed. That's a little bit creepy. But it's fine. It's going to be fine. We have Lachlan, who is in a fabulous mood. He's wearing way too much clothes for this next process. Isabel, come on over. Come on. Here, why don't you move to bed land? And then take off your clothes in here. There you go. She's not tired yet. Dang it. You're going to miss Lachlan. He's going to fall asleep by the time you get there. And then you can't, can't rouse him out of bed. Okay, finally. All right, take off the closies. There we go. Now we're all in our natural skin. Just ready for some entertainment fun time. What do we got here? Mood is pretty high. At least, you know. 70%. Please? If, oh, oh, there's double smiley faces. Did you see that? She has a double smiley face as well. Let's see what else they're going to do. 
Feels weird to watch them sleeping upside down. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Wow, why did people have a bad opinion of me? What the heck? Did they did somebody just leave because I didn't give them a room? Was that it? Oh dear. Eh. My reputation is getting to be very crap. Dang it. All right, well, I guess, and I don't know if anything happened. Hmm. Yep. All right, well, I'm taking them off uh, lazy duty here. They're going to have to do stuff. We'll just, I don't know, we'll, we'll try to go with stuff. The next day. They need to do some work. Work will make them feel good. Yeah. See, I don't get that. Like, most people are like, I don't want to go to work. And I'm like, I do. I love my work. I need my work. I enjoy my work. Love it. So, all right. So what do we got here? We have a stew. Ah. Raw meat, bread, charcoal, and jugs. Wow. That's impressive amount of stuff there. It's probably very valuable. So let's go ahead and give, let's make 30 stew. Why not? Have a go. I'm surprised though that it's not like, I don't know. It only makes one stew instead of making a kabillion stew. Like several, you know, uh, Several portions of stew. Because you never make stew for one person. I've never seen anybody make stew for one person. Maybe I have limited experience. I don't know. But I have never seen anybody make stew just for one person. Okay, send you off. Go away. Okay, what do we got here? Janet is leaving. John is leaving. And Marrow is leaving. Okay. Okay, bread ovens. Looks like they need to be on a 10 all the time. If they're available, because it's just set and forget. I don't know about the dough. I forgot to look at that one. You know what? Let's put these all on Znock for now. Oh, fire is happening. Oh, dear. Why is there something right there? That's not good. I feel like the house might burn down. This is not convenient. We need a flammable blocker right there. I'm going to move this. Go. Yeah, why is that there? It's really confusing. Okay, let's move now. Hooray. Okay. Let's see. Uh, looks like this has to be tended to, but I'm going to put that like on a 9. This also has to be tended to, so I'll put that also on a 9. Um, but this should be 10. This also will be 10. This one is definitely 10. Oh, we got a lot of this uh, smoked meat. That's perfect, because that means we can... Uh, we can uh, give that to... Um, sell it to the trader. Kind of surprised, and I guess this is maybe coming in the future, but, like, there's no table. That's what I would always use for my sims. Like, if they needed socialization, I just put a table there, and they all sit around it and eat, and they become socialized, and that's where their social bar filled up. Pretty useful. Kristen is... You know what I want to do, though? I want to... Let me put the branch pile here at a 10... And have them haul from there to there. I'm going to go ahead and shift click this branches and move it. Okay, we need oat grains, oat sheaf, flax sheaf, dry hide, ash hide. Yep. We need all the things come summertime. I really would like them to. Oh, they're actually progressing with the farming. This is pretty great. 
Let's check the fertility overlay. Looks like they are concentrating on this poke pole over here, and for whatever reason, that one as well. That was a terrible joke, by the way. Sorry about that. We apologize for the inconvenience. All right, objects. Let's look. Clothing. We now have a spinning wheel. Hooray. So I want to put this spinning wheel maybe here. This needs flaxy stuff. And what do we have? Where are these flaxy things? Let's see, this is hide. Here's flax dressing. So cured flax stems are there. Hmm. Maybe I move this box. Oh no, that's not a box. Aha. We need a flax box. Where does that go? Objects. Uh, let's put the spinning wheel on this side and then put the flax box over there. Let's see, inventory. Uh, no, it's under objects. Storage. A clothing, leather, and various threads. You know what I could do? I probably could put it on a general shelf. I bet there is one. I mean, I bet... Oh, it's too big, though. That's the only problem. Darn it. Because it's this size, the general shelf. Kind of wish it was like a single bin. Because eh. the textile shelf is also two. It's kind of annoying because it has the circle in front of it. That's the main problem with this. Um, I could put it... How... I don't think I can, actually. That doesn't work. Nope. Alright, I guess flax stuff is going to go on the floor then. Uh, what I could do, though, is I could put a, just a regular stockpile, a general stockpile here. Maybe it would pull from the stockpile, even if the square of the stockpile is a little bit further. Okay, so these are going to be flax fibers. Where are they? Oh, they're not in alphabetical order. Oh, there they are. Okay. I just wanted to look before we have all those little red circles all over everything. Alrighty. So here we are. We have many things to put in the freezer. Apparently they are just ignoring what is good sense here. Does this deteriorate? No. Good. Okay. That, that makes sense because it's more, you know, it's like real life. It doesn't deteriorate as long as it's kept indoors and all fine. All right, well, on this very cold evening, it's winter seven, I think I need to bid you adieu because we have no more time in this episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.